<clears throat> What's good, YouTube? Yeah, I'm going to show you how to make R&B chords in the FL Studios. Because, you know, I feel like not enough people are doing these. Everybody's using the same boring-ass minor major chords in every beat. So this will help you spice it up a little bit. So before we jump into this, I'm going to give you guys a little preview of my new R&B MIDI kit. I'm going to be dropping this soon. Probably just going to add a few more progressions in it. But yeah, a lot of these have been using songs with Stacy Money. Produced by me. Bunch of other ones never been used before. And you can make some fresh ass shit with them. Like, check out this one. Yeah, you know, some smooth shit. So I could just go ahead and make a beat with one of these progressions for the tutorial, but that wouldn't really teach you anything. So I'm going to show you how I make these kind of chords from scratch using my uh, bare minimum knowledge of music theory. So first we're going to fix this. We want this on a 4-4 four, four time. And I think I'm going to keep the BPM around 150. I'm going to be using Lounge Lizard for the roads. Keep it smooth find a different preset with these type of beats I usually like to use like Rhodes pianos um, any type of little bells like smooth sign pads you know anything smooth no like harsh stabby sounds no that EDM type shit let's find a good one mm. This one sounds nice. So for this, we're gonna be using the two five one progression. You might be wondering what's a two five one. So we're gonna get a C major scale. C major scale is the easiest scale to know, you know. It's just all the white notes. So we're gonna copy this over to a sampler so it doesn't play. And then basically 251 is gonna be we're gonna do our bass notes, we're gonna go count up one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one. And it's gonna sound something like Yeah, there we go. And now we're gonna build some chords on that. So in case you don't know anything about chords, if you want to make a minor chord, you're going to go up two, up three. You know, that's a basic minor two, five, one. That ain't anything special, you know. Sounds boring, not jazzy, basic. So what we're going to do is we're going to change these to some seventh chords. All you got to do, you're going to go one two one two three one two sounding a little better still not super interesting though so we're gonna change this one let's make it a dominant chord so dominant this is key to the jazz R&B progressions you're gonna go up take the second note move it up one There we go. That sounds smooth as hell, right? Sound a lot better. Now I think it's a little harsh, you know. It doesn't sound like it's played by a real human, so we're going to fix that. We're going to take this, do an inversion. Control, down arrow key. We're going to take this one. Control, down arrow key. And I think this would sound better as a major chord. So we're going to select these two and move them up. Now we got a major seventh. Actually, 
I don't know. That sounds a little too happy for the vibe I'm going for. So I think we're going to move that back up. Take this one. Invert it up. And let's change the key. C is a little basic. We'll go, go down to A. Let's see. This is going to be G sharp major key. gonna fuck around with the notes a little bit try to make something better and add a little top melody some bass notes so we're gonna stick to that two five one progression with this till I find something good. Alright, I think we got a solid progression going. And if you want to make it sound even more jazzy, you can just add more notes to this as long as they kind of fit in. Like we can fit another A sharp right there. this a ninth chord stack another one invert it down sounds all right to me so I think Let's see if I can find a better better one of these what's it called a preset I like the chorus rows more realistic hit alt hit r uh don't fuck with these i don't know why they messed up you could change the velocity and i like to do the panning a little bit and then that'll make it like more realistic you know so it's not like but instead it's kind of like and then instead of doing the strum a lot of people will just hit all s and strum every chord the exact same so it's like sound very good at all so we're gonna hit none and we're just gonna like move these notes around a little bit without anything in the end there we go so now we got a nice smooth little progression going with some top notes I think I'm open good old purity and we'll get a background pad I use this triangle pad all the time I think it'll fit in this one so we're gonna put it in here uh, delete these top notes we're just gonna want the chords playing shit 
doesn't crash. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm gonna be using the Atmosphere 3D Bank from my boy 5AM. No, his name's Trillis now. Go cop that, I'll link that. It's a good bank. Nah, not that one. Can I play a little bell? See what I could do with this. Try to make an interesting melody, maybe. in the sauce drum kit link in description buy that shit get a nope don't want that there is a tobin 808 i think always remember the soft clipper on the master people ask me for mastering tips that's it that's all you need the engineer if you get a placement the engineer will do the rest of it trust me simple to add this but one last thing a little bit of knowledge at the end of these chord progressions like sometimes I do it at the end of the fourth bar but this one I'm gonna do at the end of the eighth bar for a little switch up I'm gonna add this thing called a diminished chord it's kind of like a dominant chord like this one both of these are used for adding tension but this one got the most tension it's gonna be so a dominant chord you go one skip three skip two skip two sounds like this right but a diminished chord is going to be skip two, skip two, skip two. Sounds like this. So on its own, it sounds pretty bad. It sounds like, you know, out of key and shit. So you just got to mess around with it. Find the right place for it. I think right here is going to be good. This is a diminished 11th chord, I think. Maybe called something else. I don't know, but it's just a lot of notes stacked up on each other. So we're going to delete one of these. And then, yeah, I 
it just adds a little more variation. It like it gives some tension to it, makes it more jazzy. Cause it's kind of like a surprise chord, you know. Like you hear this progression, you wouldn't expect it, but it kind of just hits you like. Sounds good. Yeah, you'll hear it in the final beat. Later, y'all.